Uh, it depends. Uh, solar panels, uh, there's a huge bubble forming with solar companies, gig gig enormous, right? And that's because the Biden government has come out and said that uh, they're going to pump billions into solar companies, right? Uh, hundreds of billions into solar companies. Now, that's not sustainable. It's just a Ponzi scheme, right? Because it's a Ponzi scheme. Solar solar technology is, is not going to replace uh, gas or oil. Okay, it's extremely disruptive, uh, destructive to the environment. They're, it's not sustainable. Like they sell solar as sustainable, but it's not sustainable. It really is not sustainable. It is, it is sort of a stopgap measure, sort of an emergency use solar panel. Like for us, our family, we do have a battery that is a solar panel we bought just in case power goes up. We can use a battery to power up. So for example, a few days ago, um, it wasn't unknown, but the city was doing emergency repair, not emergency, but um, what do you call it? Maintenance of the electrical grid here. And they took the power down for a couple of hours, right? That was earlier this week. So what we ended up doing, we put the router in into the modem, uh, into the battery, right? Even though the house didn't have power, we had a battery where we plugged the uh, modem into the battery, right? And we had cable, right? So we had internet while I'm guessing nobody else did because they didn't have an external power supply for their modem. So for emergency use or times where you don't have access to electricity, a uh, solar panel with a battery is not a bad idea. But is that sustainable for a whole city, for a whole country to go that route? Absolutely not. You'd have to mine the earth a gazillion times over to be able to provide solar, solar, solar cells and batteries to everyone on the planet. That is more destructive than BP, Shell, Exxon all put together if they operated for 500 years, right? So it's it's crazy. It's it's a it's a money laundering scheme. What's going on with the, you know. Uh, ESG, the environmentally sustainable goods, all these labels and all these tax dollars that are being just squeezed out of society to launder money through Wall Street. If you look at the stock, for example, of the symbol is ENPH. Um, I forget what the name of the company is. Family has is is in and out of puts on that thing, right? Um, it's its stock has gone in the last four years three years its stock has gone from like three dollars to three hundred and something dollars right that's a ponzi scheme that's a money laundering scheme okay that's a money laundering scheme okay its stock price is based on revenue you'll make like 10 years from now right it's a scam and not fi financial advice but it's a scam right do with it do with this conversation as you please uh, but i can tell you at some point um family's keeping a very close eye on that thing if it pops high it's going to do a moderna right and if you've been following some of our personal finance stuff you know that family was buying puts on moderna in in the 300s and the 400s right and now moderna is 130 dollars or something like that moderna should be a shit company should be worth one dollar now it's a complete scam, right? So these solar companies will do the same, right? Will do the same, in my opinion.